playing, they're going to take some risks. So it is, uh, looks like it's Charles Leclerc on pole position as the race gets underway. George Russell alongside him on the front row. So maybe Christian Lungard did get a five place penalty. So it's Leclerc that leads into the first corner. George Russell in second in the Williams. Artur Leclerc, Charles' younger brother, is running in third place. Alex Albin is fourth. Louis Delatraz in fifth on the brakes down into turn three. Charles Leclerc has got a mega start and he's already a second up the field uh, along the track from George Russell. Now, worth pointing out that all these cars have exactly the same performance in this game. So you don't have the Ferrari being better than the Williams. And so George Russell able to show what he can do up in second place at the moment, ahead of Alex Albon in third. So Leclerc, then Russell, Albon, and then uh, Arthur Leclerc. Lungard making up a position after being penalized for contact in that qualifying session. Then Delatraz, Giovinazzi, Van Dorn, Latifi, and Jimmy Broadbent once again proving adept at making his way. Oh, Albon is off. He did the walls. No, Albon. He's not the only one with the Toro Rosso heading off everyone. I'm in a Leclerc sandwich at the moment. Who's taken a big hit. He's checking out from me. To can't handle it. It's too precious. The Alpha Terry that went into the wall, even though it is a Toro Rosso in this game. But Charles Leclerc is leading. Uh, George Russell second. Artur Leclerc third. Lungard fourth. Louis Delatraz fifth. We're on board with Delatraz as he comes across the line with Antonio Giovinazzi behind. Van Dorn, Latifi, Broadbent and Button. The rest of the top ten. Much more well behaved than two weeks ago in Bahrain. Yeah, mistakes uh, not to make. This race is 29 laps. Early on, you know, they've still got to make a pit stop. We expect it to be a one stop. They do have to change uh, tyres. Javi, we're going to have to go to the undercut on Charles, OK? If I'm ahead, we can keep it. One or two laps undercut. Chasing a GP2 runner-up in front of him in Antonio Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo. And they are setting a serious pace at the moment. Can George Russell do anything about the lead? 1.3 seconds that Charles Leclerc has at the moment. Two Leclerc brothers doing an impression of the Schumachers in the early noughties by putting uh, those uh, brothers in the top three. And Lunga looking to make amends after having been the fastest qualifier. He's sifting his way through the field now. They've all got to be careful coming through the uh, rapid uh, chicane that is uh, turns uh, 12 and 13. So lap two of 29, Charles Leclerc pulling away out in front, 1.7 seconds now ahead of George Russell. This is Artur Leclerc, Charles' younger brother, getting onto the brakes, into the left-hander at the end of the lap at turn 15, then accelerating through 16, a 29-lap race, which is 50% race distance. As uh, Alex says, it will be a one-stop strategy we're anticipating. Artur, you can see on the uh, red walled tires, and we will have DRS opening soon. When, when you're within a second of the car in front, open the flap in the rear wing for a bit more straight line speed. Now very close with Stoffel van Dorn and Antonio Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi defends in the Alfa Romeo and the Mercedes can't get through just yet. It's the battle just behind um, Louis Delatraz. We're on board with Stoffel van Dorn here. As you say, GP2 champion in 2014, the record point scorer. Uh, beating Jolian Palmer to record <laughs> points in a GP2 championship and you know what they say if you can beat Jolian Is there any way I can get my ERS a bit higher? Very low. <laughs> Right under the bus with that one, great <laughs> stuff. Nice wide turn in from Antonio there as he tries to keep the position for the moment. Big progress from Jimmy Broadbent, Jensen Button up into the top 10. Nicholas Latifi running 1.2 seconds behind the 2009 world champion. Not a sentence he expected to hear in uh, 2020. And then Ben Stokes going nicely in 12th position ahead of Anthony Davidson, who will be looking for that DRS in a few moments. Alex Albin with it all to do after looking nice Nice and settled for the first few corners, chucked it away into the wall. He wasn't the only one as well. Uh, Johnny Herbert trying to recover from 18th position. 18 runners then uh, listed on the screen. We are on lap number four, at least we are at the front. I think Lando Norris's game is not working. That's why we're not seeing him in the race. He had all sorts of trouble two weeks ago. And again, uh, it looks as though Lando Norris things are not working oh. out for him. Around goes Ben Stokes and uh, doesn't quite make it to the boundary. Gets back onto the circuit and gets going again. That's going to be my only cricket pun because I haven't really got any more. But uh, Ben Stokes caught in the slips. <laughs> That's one as well, isn't it? It's important to keep the tires because we have to wait till lap nine, lap ten. Stokes or <laughs> either way, lying at a nightmare.
dropped the ball. We won the test. It's all that matters. Not going to reminisce about Headingley too much. We've also got the World Cup final to talk about. Leclerc, George Russell, then Leclerc. Then the drive we're on ball with at the moment. Lungard, who will be raging to have lost that pole position, but he's uh, applied himself nicely here. Not cutting the track too much. Oh, Leclerc, so close. Leclerc, the younger that is, so close to losing it. He's got that DRS because he's enraged for George Russell, who's been left behind right now by the two-time Formula One race winner, Charles Leclerc, winner in Belgium, winner in... Oh, into the wall goes. Was that Louis Delatraz losing yeah. it? I think it was. Louis Delatraz down to seventh position. What is Delatraz doing? <laughs> you were waiting for the chance, yeah. and he's thrown it your way. Unfortunately, he's thrown it down to seventh position. Jimmy Broadbent will be hoping to close in. Lap five of 29. Charles Leclerc, almost three seconds up the road. Now from you say? If you did oh, it for last. They talk to me in the corners. I didn't miss it. No. Oh. No. Charles ahead of Arta, and then you've got Lungard in third after Russell makes a mistake, and quite a lot of mistakes out there, which shows that you might have the lead. But even if you've got a 3.3 second advantage, it is clearly on this surface, in this game today, very easy to make an error. So Russell down to fourth, Antonio Giovinazzi in fifth place in the Alfa Romeo, Stoffel Van Dorn is sixth in the Mercedes, Louis Delatraz, his mistake has dropped him to seventh, Jimmy Broadbent's in eighth, Jensen Button in ninth, and uh, it is Andre Heimgartner, the um, Aussie supercars racer, so uh, very much used to Australia who is completing the top 10. Alex Albin in 11th. We'll see whether he can start to climb back up the order. And Anthony Davidson is right on the back of Nicholas Latifi. But we're back again with Stoffel van Dorn, the Belgian, closing in on Antonio Giovinazzi for what is now fifth place. It was a battle for seventh place a couple of laps ago. Both on the soft walled tyre. I haven't seen anyone out there on the on the mediums. Here we come onto the start finish straight now. Here comes Christian Lungard. Is he going to get the move here? Arthur Leclerc. He's got the DRS open. How hard is Leclerc going to fight? Wow. Ooh. Lungard didn't Waiting quite fancy for it. it. He's got another chance on the DRS though, hasn't he? At this part of the circuit, and will he try the late move? Surely this time. So what? What? Uh, lap will we meant to box? Lap nine. Let's or lap go 10. Early. If we, we go early, we should probably go to the hard. No, I did the hard four, mate, and it was really bad. But he'll be frustrated to make a mistake. Uh, one that drops him off the podium for the time being. Uh, ben Stokes has come into the pits, which drops him down to 18th position. Time for lunch. <laughs> it's another cricket joke. Full of them. Didn't even plan them. Lap six of 29. If you're worrying if you did plan them. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the only thing I plan before a commentary, that would be a concern. Lap six of 29, Charles Leclerc leading for Ferrari. It's a Ferrari 1-2, Artur Leclerc three and a half seconds further back, but under big pressure from Christian Lundgaard in the Renault there. Number 30 on the Renault. Haven't seen that since 2017. I'll let him aside now, I'll let Williams out here. I really apologise, guys. We're on board again with Stoffel van Dorn coming through the vinyl corner, but although he gets the DRS and closes in a little bit on Giovinazzi, he can't quite do enough to uh, to get up into fifth place. Were these two rivals in GP2? Uh, no. No, was it the uh, year van, after? Van Dorn had been promoted as champion, and then Giovinazzi made his debut and very nearly took the title, pushed Pierre Gasly all the way back in 2016. And Gasly's, I don't want to be mean to Pierre, he's a good guy, uh, but he's letting the side down. He's, he's ruining this uh, GP2 F2 reunion that we've got going on with Leclerc and Russell and Van Dorn, Giovinazzi, and Giovinazzi was using all of the curb and a bit more there. So he tries to cling on to fifth position, and he's not the only one back to Lungard, a driver who's trying to put himself up this year with the names of Leclerc and Russell and Van Dorn. Certainly has the team to do so, but he's been staring at the back of that Ferrari for a while now. And he's in the DRS. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That chicane is terrific. This when George Russell went into the side of Alex Albon. Leclerc they're beginning to struggle. This is going to give a great opportunity to Lungard, who's side by side with him already, compromising the Ferrari's line. 
And now with DRS, big opportunity as they go down to turn one. This has got to be it, hasn't it? Leclerc, just a couple of wheels on the dirt as he came down into turn 13. They're side by side, round the outside from Christian Lungard. What a great move. And I think Arthur Lewis is oh. I think the uh, younger brother of Charles has gone around and George Russell is back up now into third place. Giovinazzi is up into fourth and Stoffel Van Dorn has come into the pits then. So Van Dorn, the first of the front runners to come into the pits. I would have thought, wow, it feels a bit early for a tyre change, but um, I would have thought that was planned because he was having a good race other than that. So Charles Leclerc leading five seconds ahead now of Christian Lungard, who's up into second place with a great move, to be fair. It was a fantastic move round the outside. Very, very brave. You've got a little bit of grass to get out of jail there if it all goes wrong. But in doing so, spinning the younger Leclerc brother out of second position. So George Russell back into the podium places. I think somebody needs to move the safety car out to get Charles back here. Leader, the driver you're looking at at the moment, Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari and Lungard when there's no one in between. What is their raw pace like? Both of them with pit stops to come. As we check down the order, so we've got Leclerc ahead of Lungard, then George Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi ahead of Arthur Leclerc, who has kept it going. Louis Delatraz has had a spin as well. He is in sixth position. Jimmy Broadbent didn't enjoy qualifying, has enjoyed the race once again. He's worked his way through the field to seventh position. He is currently running ahead of Jensen Button with that smooth style. Now, Giovinazzi and Arthur Leclerc both pit. So where is Stoffel Van Dorn going to come out with regards to Giovinazzi and Leclerc? Can he get ahead of those two? with the undercut he's coming a lap earlier but he has got Pietro Fittipaldi just in front of him so that might have compromised Van Dorn a little bit well it looks like we'll uh, only see on the tower on the left hand side uh, here they come here comes Van Dorn across the line now will we see there they are exiting the pit lane so Giovinazzi stays in front of the Mercedes of Stoffel Van Dorn who's under big pressure actually from Luca Salvadori so that's worked out well for Giovinazzi it looks as though Van Dorn came out into traffic basically uh, into the cars who are running on the medium compounded tire as you can see here from lucas Salvadori on the yellow walled medium tire and that has compromised van dorn's race yeah van dorn now having to make a few moves and make them rather quickly he wants to get to up to the serious positions into the top five will i be quicker on the outlap than the ship map i guess so no new tire Ooh, be careful with that to the top 10 with that move at the chicane. Next car up the road, Arthur Leclerc. Hard tyres for, uh, oh, hello. Fittipaldi coming back. And Van Dorn having to make the car very wide indeed. Lungard getting a five second penalty. Speeding in the pit lane. But they didn't, uh, they didn't hold the us up. At the same That's a good thing. Russell getting Otherwise we'll have lost a lot. The moment. Could just be pit I hope I'm in free air, but I think so. Yes, I am. So, Come on, guys, give a pit stop. Come on, 2.5. We love to see it. We love to see it. Maybe I'll just undercut it, haven't we? These guys. In the second of the Haas cars, his teammate Louis Delatraz has already pitted. We're on board with Artur Leclerc. Right up behind Antonio Giovinazzi, then, yeah, they've gone onto the hard tyres as well. So the soft to the hards on lap eight appears to be, or eight or nine, appears to be the chosen strategy. Is Artur Leclerc going to be able to get past Giovinazzi, not into turn three this time around? Charles Leclerc is pitted. Jensen Button now up into second place, yet to come into the pits. We saw him win a fantastic tyre strategical race in Melbourne in, I've committed to this, 2010? Yep. Yes. Um, <laughs> when he, uh, yeah, when all the rain was coming down and it was all chaos and ended up taking the victory, but he's not in a real second place here, Button, because he does need to pit at some point. He does indeed. So, out of the club. For 19 lap forwards. And so, at the circuit that he made his Formula One debut, when he was deputising on that occasion for Pascal Wehrlein, they are flirting with the exit of that corner an awful lot though and we can see what happens if you go back to lap one of the race you're just switching on we had three spinners from that very part of the circuit on the first of the race corner cutting beginning let's beginning. try and go for the fastest lap button pits from second place then so jensen button a little bit later than everyone else big switch from antonio giovinazzi this could be the opportunity for arthur leclerc in the ferrari we're on board with him giovinazzi got out of shape leclerc finds the inside line and cruises past down into the first corner leclerc was running second in the early stages but
had a spin after going side by side with Christian Lundgaard and now he's trying to climb his way back up the order. He's 2.6 seconds behind George Russell in the Williams in third place. Charles Leclerc continues to lead. Stoffel van Dorn and Louis Delatraz having a nice fight over. They are so slow. What is going on? Bent in tenth place and. Uh, Alex Albon has got ahead of, uh, in fact, those two appear to be side by side for 11th position as Button emerges from the pit lane. Lap 11 of 29. As we go on board with Louis Delatraz, who is trying to salvage a race that had a spin, so he lost a, at least five seconds uh, from that earlier on. He's got Stoffel Van Dorn ahead, and Van Dorn knows about it, taking a different line as they go parallel with the lake into the far chicane. How much curves are you going to use here? Not as much as Van Dorn, who is lucky to still be pointing in the right direction after that. That's how hard he's having to push to keep the Swiss driver behind. Personal best in Formula 2 of second position, which he's achieved a couple of times. Been on the front row in Formula 2 as well. Ninth place finisher from last year's championship. And he's going to be lining up the move now, tucked right underneath. Different compound of tyre, though, between these two. As they go on to the main straight, can Delatraz pull the move then? One current Formula 2 driver against the second-tier champion, and he'll hope. Let's see. Is the Mercedes disappearing from view? No, it's not. Committed stuff. George, it's important to save a little, a little fuel at the same time as we can keep the, the tires a little bit fresh. But it's important the fuel. I know you're playing with that, but it's not ideal right now. <laughs> it's not ideal to do that. Keep it lean for the few laps. Sixth and seventh places, lap 12 of 29. The gap at the front now up to 5.7 seconds. Charles Leclerc absolutely bossing this one. Lungard in second, Russell in third. At least something to keep the, posi the position at the end when Arthur will be pushing with the heart. Yeah, it makes sense. Medium compound tyre, the yellow walled tyre. Van Dorn is on the hards. Whether these will get Delatraz much further in the race, we'll have to wait and see. But he's certainly got the grip at the moment compared to the Belgian. He's trying to make the move and be getting into the position where he's getting frustrated with this one. Will he try the late lunge? Not enough room. Oh, close to tagging him, though. And Van Dorn really hanging on to the Merc. Not exactly comfortable right now with Delatraz behind. Right, one lap later, is he able to pull off what he wasn't before? He's got so much more grip than Van Dorn, it's mad. And now, will he hug the inside line? And Van Dorn doing the same thing again. So it's going to have to be a Lungard-esque move around the outside. Is he, oh, he's squeezing him this time, and this time he's got the position up to sixth place. Van Dorn's still there, though, and he's tucked right underneath the slipstream of Delatraz, down into the right-hander of turn three. Van Dorn's on the outside, but Delatraz had the DRS. So, how much fuel do you want to save for both? Exactly. Delatraz can start to climb up the order. His next target is Antonio Giovinazzi. Let's say half a lap to be, to be good. I don't know why, I haven't seen the first race, but I'm scared to arrive behind Johnny Herbert. It's just a feeling, As he starts to drop further and further back from Delatraz, but Delatraz is one of the few drivers out on the medium compound of tyre, so we'll see how that particular strategy works out for him. Jensen Button has resumed in 10th position, uh, a couple of seconds in front of Alex Albon. Um, Arthur Leclerc is closing in on George Russell. The gap down to 1.9 seconds. I think it was three and a half when uh, when Leclerc had his moment. So he's closing in on Russell. There's no doubt about that. Will he be able to catch him by the end of the Grand Prix as we approach half race distance? In fact, we're starting lap 14. So yeah, end of this lap will be uh, past half race distance. No, not quite. <laughs> Checking in with Antonio Giovinazzi now. Only zone for the time being. He's got Leclerc ahead of him. And this could, uh, this might turn into a bit of a lonely race. Another driver on the hard tyre. So Delatraz has gone in a slightly different direction. So maybe expect that gap of 3.5 seconds to come down. I think further down the order, Jensen Button occupying 10th position. And Ben Stokes, he's at the back, but he can say right now that he's finished ahead of a three-time Formula One Grand Prix winner in Johnny Herbert, who has 11 seconds to make up Antonio Giovinazzi's teammate, Johnny Herbert, today. Did Johnny Herbert win your favourite Grand Prix of all time? He did. How do you know that? I have my sources. I have my sources. Elaborate. Someone told me. I see. <laughs> uh, the 1999 European Grand Prix. I had absolutely everything.
Yeah, including Luca Badoa. Breaking down from fourth place, bursting into tears. That sort of season back in 99. I won't bore everyone with how much I love that race. <laughs> Maybe do a podcast where I explain how that is the best race of all time. Back to Van Dorn, who is uh, two seconds behind now. So Delatra is making that tyre compound work for the time being. Uh, Leclerc has dropped back a little bit now from George Russell. So Russell's found some good pace. He's uh, 2.5 seconds now ahead of Artur Leclerc in that battle for third and fourth position. So that's good stuff for Russell. Uh, six seconds between Leclerc and Lungard. Three and a half back to Russell. Uh, 2.4 back to Leclerc. 3.3 back to Giovinazzi. And here is Alex Alban versus Jensen Button. 11th versus 10th at the moment. Button in the McLaren and uh, Alban in the Red Bull. They're both on the medium compound attire as well, I think. And Alban late in the day down into turn one, not quite close enough. Did a famous late lunge on a McLaren at Suzuka. Can he pull off another one here in Melbourne? Goes to the outside. Button holds the inside line. You're not getting past Button easily. I thought he was about to drive around the outside of him then and I would have looked a bit silly, but alas, <laughs> there's still nose to tail. Coming through the quick right under a turn five, down to six and seven. It's just biding his time, Alban. Yeah, Button clinging onto it at the moment. Same compound tire. All these cars are... Well, we're dropping given actually, but after this day, end with me. I don't think we're slow, I just think the guys around me are mega fast. We go over. So, a uh, similar experience, Ooh. using a bit of the wall there. You might be about to use a bit of the McLaren as well, given how close he's getting to the back of Jensen Button. Surely now, the time to make the move for Alex Alban. Oh, he's putting a lot of trust in the 2009 world champion who's lucky to keep it out of the wall that Delatraz visited and up to 10th place goes Alex Alba. What a test! this Alba, we need to get out of my way. Managed to hold on though, and Alex Alba's up to 10, oh. but he's cool thudded it down at turn 13. Johnny Herbert, oh no. Oh mate, this is all going to go wrong now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. To take advantage and get back up into 10th place. And Albon will have to do it all over again. Anthony Davidson in ninth. Jimmy Broadbent in eighth position. A very famous uh, sim racer. And uh, it's great to have him here. And I'm sure loads of you are here supporting Jimmy Broadbent. He's just ahead of Anthony Davidson in their battle over eighth and ninth in the racing points. Grazie. Here are those racing points. So Davidson trying to do something about uh, Broadbent. Seven tenths of a second between them on board with the driver who started 20. Johnny! Yeah. Oh, John Mate, what's Johnny doing? They are uh, Minardi and Super Aguri. And uh, I think Alex Alban has now got back past Jensen Button once again. Heimgartner's made his way past Nicholas Latifi, who on a circuit that maybe he's not as familiar with, not quite with the pace that he had back in Bahrain. Still riding on board with Anthony Davidson. It's a 6.3 second lead up at the front though. So in clear air, Lungard has no answer to Charles Leclerc. And in comes Anthony Davidson to the pits. Okay, so Davidson pitting from the medium compound attire. And uh, Jensen Button is back behind Albon then. So Albon did manage to find a way through after that mistake. We're on board with Button as he is now in 10th position on the run down towards turn one bouncing off the curbs and then on the stretch down towards turn three but uh, he's fallen behind now Anthony Davidson coming out in I think a uh, 16th position there's a yellow flag out there in sector one maybe Petra Fittipaldi might have made an error there because he dropped down the order a little and is now behind Nicholas Latifi in uh, in 12th place is the Canadian uh, George Russell, his teammate at Williams, up in third place. And Arthur Leclerc not really making much progress. 3.3 seconds back. Louis Delatraz is uh, only 1.2 seconds from the back of Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, and uh, next, I guess, we'll see how far uh, Delatraz... We've got Ben Stokes on the grass. Stop Van Dorn. He's now four seconds ahead of Van Dorn and is closing in on the back of Giovinazzi for fifth place. Sorry guys, I'm not speaking much. Different strategy for Delatraz, but right now working very nicely indeed. And we go back on board 
with the Swiss driver. We've got the Alfa Romeo directly ahead of us of Giovinazzi. We've got a good battle between Latifi and Heimgartner by the looks of things. The uh, Williams driver for Formula One in 2020. And I think Heimgartner's had some sort of incident there to drop him down. It's allowed Pietro Fittipaldi to 11th position. Oh, it's a shit first sector. On the media compound of tyre, making inroads. Will he fall away in the final stages? We do not have long to find out. Uh, Saving Herbert quite a bit of fuel, though, so... Johnny Herbert, Maybe I'm going to push in some laps. Personality <laughs> the year, Ben Stokes, who is in <laughs> 17th position. I thought you were going to say sports person had the end, Johnny Herbert. I thought I'd missed something. Yeah. No, the 90s. 99. You wouldn't, you wouldn't remember. Yeah, 1999 Sports Personality of the Year. Neither would I, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that old, are you? Are you old? No, not as old as you. <laughs> 30th coming up very soon, I believe. You, cor correct. Again, how do you know that? Yeah, I'm just going for the podium. I've got no point last year. I'm, I'm happy. I hope you happy to be 10. <laughs> well, obviously, this is probably how I'm going to spend my birthday, just sim racing. It's the order of the day. Lap 19 of 29, across the line on board with George Russell in third place, onto the brakes, down into turn one. And, uh, oh, this is uh, Giovinazzi having a bit of a warped car there. So I think that might be uh, Johnny Herbert that yeah. he's making his way through, putting a lap on Johnny Herbert. So uh, that is Leclerc uh, in fourth and Giovinazzi still in fifth. Herbert still in 18th, but closing in a little bit on Ben Stokes. And Stokes is going to lose a bit of time because he'll have to let... Antonio Giovinazzi through. So that might bring Herbert into the fight a little bit as they come through the right hander of five. Uh, Charles Leclerc leading the way in this virtual Grand Prix on the streets of Melbourne. It's meant to be Formula One in Vietnam this weekend. The racetrack not in the game, so we're doing the Melbourne race. And at the moment, it's I'm enjoying this motor race. It's a sort of proper race. It's nowhere near as chaotic as Bahrain a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's true. As Lucas Alvadori is now on the back of Nicolas Latifi in their battle over 12th place. Lucas Salvadori, the Italian, up behind Latifi, the Canadian, Salvadori, the uh, former motorbike racer. Well, interesting to see. We've seen a lot of mistakes. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been there. Oh, sorry, Arthur. Uh, battle going on right now, I believe, between George Russell and uh, as Arthur Leclerc had a moment, I think he has, yeah. he's dropping down to sixth place. So Arthur Leclerc with another error and is now in sixth position. That's his second of the day. He keeps climbing back up the order and then falling away again. So it was in the third sector that Leclerc made his mistake. And uh, there he is across the line and now just a second or so in front of Stoffel van Dorn. So not good news for Arthur Leclerc. He's got 2.7 seconds now to Louis Delatraz in fifth, who he will try and overtake but we're on lap 20 and 29 so very much the closing stages final third whichever you'd prefer to call it which would you prefer to call it we're definitely gonna struggle in the end mate i've got no grip you chose it lap 20 of 29 <laughs> <laughs> on board with stoffel van dorn eight tenths of a second now behind leclerc so actually he's uh, picked up a bit of pace and i think they're coming up to lap ben stokes in front in the red bull uh, and uh, Stokes doesn't have to get out of the way because of the settings that they've got in the game at the moment. That's why you see Stokes' car go a bit invisible. No need to worry too much about backmarkers here for Stoffel van Dorn because Stokes stays on his line and uh, van Dorn can just kind of drive through him. I'm telling you, this is hard with reality. About uh, multiple fences for cutting corners. We've already seen Jimmy Broadbent get a penalty for that offence on board with Luca Salvadori, driver who's used to being a test rider for uh, uh, MotoGP uh, with the, on the tyre side of things. Lee Allen disagrees with you, says the Canadian Grand Prix that Jensen Button won was the greatest Formula One race of all time. Well, what do you have to say to that, Alex Jakes? Well, I say that he's wrong, but I respectfully say that he's wrong because that was also a classic. That was an absolute uh, longest race ever, isn't it? And worth every every single. <laughs> Clearly, weren't commentating on that one, Jack. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I, d I, I was I was doing something that way. I think I was uh, commentating on a club race at Brands Hatch, nice. and I thought I would get back and have missed the race, but I got home. It was still on. Brilliant. See, all the action. 
very good. On board with Luca Salvadori then in 13th place. Uh, that's Johnny Herbert in front who is a back marker. So Herbert's had a bit of a drama because he's now 20 seconds back from Ben Stokes where he was only, what, two or three a couple of laps ago. So Herbert's had a, another incident. And uh, lap 21 of 29. I'm sweaty like, I'm sweating position. like crazy. Charles Leclerc leading 8.4 seconds now ahead of Christian Lungard in the Renault in second place. George Russell in third. Giovinazzi fourth, just eight tenths of a second ahead of Louis Delatraz. Is Arthur Leclerc closing in on Delatraz? He is a bit, uh, not rapidly, but this is the battle for fourth place now. Uh, Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo, in the Haas is Louis Delatraz on the run down towards turn one. Delatraz has DRS, but won't go, ooh, he won't go for the outside at turn one this time. Oh, he's lost it and into the wall for the second time today, but he will recover. So that will allow Antonio Giovinazzi off the hook, down to seventh position for Louis Delatraz. Was just trying to get on the power and get the good run down to turn three, lost the back end, straight into the wall, and Delatraz down to seventh place, and he'll try and climb up the order again. Here's Alex Albon up the inside of Jimmer. Jimmy Broadbent dropping down to ninth position. He's racing in a shed where he, uh, next to where he keeps chickens. And he's running in ninth position at the moment. Here in the grass, it's showing. How are Lungard and Charles so quick? They've been on this for ages, to be fair, but still. Didn't see any chickens in Albert Park this year. Feels like there might be some kind of wildlife, you know, sanctuary or something there. It's a very nice part of the world. Beautiful. Lap 23 of 29 for Charles Leclerc. 8.7 seconds ahead of Christian Lungard, George Russell in third, Giovinazzi fourth, Artur Leclerc is up into fifth place, and uh, 1.9 seconds ahead of Giovinazzi, uh, behind Giovinazzi. So he's uh, got half a chance of uh, of catching Giovinazzi before the end of the race. We're on board with him here on the run down towards turn one. He can see him, and uh, the gap is now down to 2.1 seconds. So this is doable, I think, for Artur Leclerc to get fourth place from Giovinazzi by the end of the Grand Prix, uh, the virtual Grand Prix, and now here's Jensen Button up behind Pietro Fittipaldi in their battle over 10th place. Through the final corner, out onto the start, finish straight, Button will get the DRS and go on the attack down towards turn one. Well, he's got the DRS, he's got the momentum, has he got the corner? No, he's going to wait for turn number three, so needs a good exit. Will he get it in the McLaren, reunited? with the team that he finished his Formula One career with. Pierre Fittipaldi knows he's got to go defensive, but Button did not have that exit speed that he needed. He does have that super silky smooth style though, and Fittipaldi is going to have to hit every single braking spot. He's going to hang on to that 10th position as Button gets up to speed with Sim Racing. We've got a yellow flag out there, and we've got a yellow flag because Ben Stokes has head off the road there, and he will resume. So no drama for anyone else. He's back on track. Yellow flag has disappeared. And Button still looking to try and break into the top ten. He's been OK, though, Ben Stokes, considering he's up against, you know, actual Formula One drivers. He's had good line, good length, running in 17th place. And he has managed uh, to... I mean, there are was many... another cricket one. You know no, I know, I know, okay, I know, fine. I know. It's just because you didn't laugh. Every, everyone, no, everyone noticed. Everyone noticed. Everyone, everyone wrote it down, mate. It's OK. <laughs> uh, ben Stokes is now behind Johnny Herbert. His chance to beat the chance is still there for Ben Stokes. <laughs> Giovinazzi 4.2 seconds away from George Russell, but the real battle at uh, the top end between Leclerc, that's Arthur Leclerc, and Antonio Giovinazzi, less than a second, and Ooh. we're heading to it right now. Here we go then, both uh, pitted on the same lap, both 15 lap old, hard tyres, and Arthur Leclerc, who had a bit of a, he was looking quick in qualifying, but pace slipped away on the final run. He was running second in the early stages, but now, after two mistakes, is up to the back of Antonio Giovinazzi through the right-hander of turn 13. 14 and 15 to come, as you would probably expect, <laughs> and then it's, then, it's, then it's out onto the start finish straight again, and he's going to be in DRS range. You're going to hear a little beep as he comes around this corner. That means he can open the DRS, which he does, 
And he closes in on Giovinazzi for fourth place. How hard is the Alpha going to fight? Not that hard. Didn't cover the inside line. And Arthur Leclerc sends it through. And he'll get the DRS again on the run down towards turn three. So that should be fourth place now for Arthur Leclerc. Surprise, Giovinazzi didn't offer more of a, more of a defense there, given where we are. This stage of the race, similar tires. Big position on the line, but maybe caught by surprise. Some drivers slightly wary of sending it into turn number one. Leclerc was not one of them. And Giovinazzi keeping it calm, keeping it cool. Can he stay within DRS range? That's the challenge for him now for the rest of the lap. He tries to track the Ferrari into a part of the racetrack where you really can if you need to in a situation like this maybe take a little bit more tarmac than you'd intend as you see from Leclerc ahead it's all about the exit but that's nicely done from the Monagas driver who scampers further clear down the road yeah Giovinazzi backed off a little to try and get the run through the corner but Leclerc just sent it now here's Jensen Button and Nicholas Latifi Latifi on the outside in the Williams Button on the inside in the McLaren and he is holding on at the moment to 11th position he's dropped away a little bit from Pietro Fittipaldi are we going to go side by side here through 11 and 12 oh very nearly <laughs> contact somehow they get away with it as Jensen Button's medium tyres fall away and Giovinazzi's hard tyres bring him back into this battle and this has allowed Pietro Fittipaldi the chance to escape a little bit lap 26 of 29 for the race leader 10 seconds ahead of Christian Lungard in second place, George Russell in third, Arthur Leclerc fourth. Giovinazzi still within uh, four tenths of Leclerc, but I don't think he'll be close enough to make a move just yet. As you hear the beep again, meaning the DRS opens for Nicholas Latifi. Button covers the inside on the run down to turn one. Latifi switches back to the oh, whoa, super oh, late on the brakes. Oh, last of the late breakers from Jensen Button to stay ahead for the time being. After seeing that, will Latifi put himself on the outside? I wouldn't be so sure. He has gone for that run once again. Button goes deep, and this time too deep. Off to the gravel, and off to the rearview mirror for Nicholas Latifi, who's up to 11th place. Charles Leclerc leading, lap 26 of 29 in this virtual Grand Prix on the streets of Albert Park. Thank you very much for joining us. If it's your first experience of uh, eSports... I wanted to do the fastest lap with these tyres, really but cool to have such probably won't take any risks. Formula One drivers here. Two laps Leclerc, left, and anyway, the tyres are gone. Uh, ...favourite for this season, leading the race, George Russell in there, one of the exciting young British drivers, Antonio Giovinazzi, who we're on board with now races for the Alfa Romeo team Alex Alban Nicholas Latifi out there as well it's been a really entertaining three actually it's been much I'm more sweating like crazy it's probably lost two kilos ago. of water it would have been nice to see more than Singapore a little bit more of a fight up at the front but I guess that's gauntlet laid down for the for the next race isn't it you know George Russell and Arthur Leclerc and Alex Alban they know they need to raise their game ahead of the next race yeah, very strong performance as well from Christian Lungard. What could he have done if he'd had the lead down from a pole position to turn one? He was the fastest qualifier, but had a penalty and headed backwards at the start. Saw a big moment heading through the, uh, I think, turn 15 and heading to the final corner for Arthur Leclerc. So the tyre wear is proving a factor I'll try to at this stage. Now. And it gave Giovinazzi a little bit of hope, but this has been a very strong recovery lap for the Monogas driver. Two Leclerc's in the top four. Uh, quite a lot of penalties, time penalties have been handed out as well across the board, so these positions could shift. Uh, but I think Jimmy Broadbent has enough of a buffer over Pietro Fittipaldi, and the same applies for Lungard. So drivers with time penalties, all right for the moment. And Leclerc's on his penultimate lap of the race. And here is uh, Andre Heimgartner going for it, uh, trying to get ahead of uh, Nunzio to Disco in their battle over 14th spot. And I'm keeping an eye on Leclerc and Russell's times as well because Russell is in the medium compact No fastest tire, lap for sure. Leclerc on the hard, so it might My be rears are gone. that Russell's tyres are going away a little, but Leclerc isn't really making huge inroads. I don't think Russell has hit the cliff, as it were, uh, as we see Antonio Giovinazzi there in fifth place, Stoppel van Dorn following him in sixth position, Delatraz, Alban, Broadbent and Fittipaldi, the rest of the top ten. So not long to go, can Antonio... Still like after coming. 3.5 You're okay I think he'll be pleased with
with his performance and George Russell as well had the uh, the minor mistake oh, but not as much as uh, Alexander Alban who has fought his way back through after that error this part of the racetrack on turn number one up into the top last lap DRS we should have we, we got that come on that's the obvious that. cricket gag <laughs> don't think any uh, worries about Ben Stokes needing DRS in this race uh, 20 seconds off the back of Johnny Herbert at the moment. That's not meant to be nasty. But it was. Well done. <laughs> nah, joking. I think Ben Stokes is a very good sport for even taking on drivers of this capabilities. The driver in front of him is a Grand Prix winner. The driver ahead is still doing technical feedback for the Formula One world champion uh, constructor. Uh, everyone else basically a pro ahead of him so uh, he did well he said it took him about seven eight hours to set up the rig in the garage <laughs> so i hope he's enjoyed himself uh, and providing a little bit more entertainment to add what he provided last year charles leclerc is on his way he's tasted two victories in formula one he's about to get a virtual one under his belt what a drive what a commanding race dominant and i thought all the way through well we've seen a lot of mistakes it would be very easy to drop it uh, we've got a yellow flag right on cue with that happening but this has been absolutely faultless from leclerc didn't take part so this is going to be on debut as well sending it round the final corner and he will see the checkered flag charles leclerc across the line to win the virtual grand prix in australia very impressive drive from leclerc 10.2 seconds ahead of grande 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 George grande Russell will come across Enormino. the line in third place i think and actually Arthur leclerc has really closed in this last lap or so russell starting to struggle the williams just coming into the left-hander and out across the line and Arthur Leclerc the younger brother of Charles Leclerc frustratingly sees Russell across the line in front of him a couple of errors today for Arthur without that we could have had oh! we did it we did it I'm happy with that I'm happy with you that. see I'm happy with you know that. now what's the fuel for right oh, for a complete rookie at this game we did all right. We did all right. I think we need some investigation into Charles's pace. We still not see him right at all. But he comes across the line in Australia to finish in 10th place. And Jensen Button just missing out on the points in 11th. A good drive from Button as well, to be honest, considering how new he is to this whole world. Famously wrote in his book, well, I don't know if it was famously, but he did write in his book that he learned a lot about car control from playing Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> but I think that was his last gaming experiences. Here comes Andre Heimgartner, the Aussie supercars racer, out across the line. Johnny Herbert and Ben Stokes completing our 18 drivers. So, 